Hi guys, they were taking a look at a custom PlayStation DualSense controller from Colorware. So details are in the description below, including purchasing links. So on social media, I sold a lot of custom controllers and I thought, let's give it a go, buy one and see if it's actually worth purchasing. So their website has a lot of customization options. So you can select the body, the middle, buttons, trackpad, and get it to your own customized color selection. So I've gone for a jet black matte color throughout the whole controller. I purchased it at the end of March and it's the beginning of June now and it's just turned up. So it's taken a few months to arrive. The controller cost me $149 and shipping was $27. So in total, $176. In the UK, that comes to £124. They also allow you to customize this to have an engraving on there if you wanted it even more personalized. And they say when you purchase this, it comes with the standard warranty. Not sure how that would work out if you need to do a return because they're based in the US. So obviously you've got to ship it back to them. But the way it works is they buy a standard controller, take it apart completely and just respray all the elements. Now, looking at the top here, I've broken the seal on there, but they've got a sticker on there saying colorware. Opening this up, got the instructions in there and the controllers wrapped up. And there you have it. So jet black matte all the way around on here. You can see for yourself, it looks absolutely stunning. A little bit prone to fingerprints. So you can see, but it's done a really good job. Comparing it to a standard DualSense controller, you can see the microphone icon has been sprayed over so you don't see that. And you can see the quality of it. Coming in close on the side grips, you can see the PlayStation symbols on the original controller, but looking at the custom one, because they've sprayed it a number of times, symbols are quite faint on there. Taking a careful look around the controller, they've done a really good job opening it all up to spray it. There's no damage anywhere. Obviously they must have done a lot of these. So you can see for yourself, even putting it back together, it looks perfect. So really impressed. Quality of the paint job feels good as well. But like I've said before, it is prone to fingerprints. If you've got sweaty fingers, it will leave a slight mark on there. Showing it with the blue light going on. Looks really good. Coming over to my PlayStation, I've replaced the plates on there and put a matte skin going down the middle on there. So it is all matte black. So I've really bought the controller to sort of go with the PlayStation now. And I think should have been given in these colors in the first place. Shouldn't have really put white in there. I think the matte black looks really nice on there. And you can see for yourself, looks absolutely stunning. It's got my Xbox Series X down here. That's all black with the black controller together with this. It's a nice addition if you're going for the black plates. So I've done a video on this, so check it out. It's in the corner there. So click the card to have a look at that. Now, it's pretty cool how you can customize all the different colors on there, but is it really worth it? If you were looking for something unique and customized for your own personal taste, I think it is a quite a good idea to go with, only because you don't have to mess around changing components yourself in case you're worried of getting it damaged. But price-wise, I think it is still very high literally double the price of buying a standard controller. So you could get two controllers for the same price on this. So if I knew that Sony was gonna release a black version of this controller, I probably would have just gone for that and not purchased this. But that was announced afterwards. So other than that, really impressed with the quality of the spray they've done on there. You can get a very unique controller to your needs. So there you go, I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing one of these controllers. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.